This conference will now be recorded. Sayed, looks like you are not able to hear me. Please tell me if you are able to hear me. Yes, yes, I can hear, sir. Okay, so the session is getting recorded. Let me share the screen, all of you. Wonderful. So, <clears throat> okay. What was this? Yeah, this was yesterday's class, which is day, uh, whatever the day was. Uh, where, where did I keep all the documents? Uh, manual testing, I believe. Yeah, class and then the running notes okay this is day 12 okay now today is day yeah whatever the day 13 okay day 13 wonderful guys so <clears throat> coming to day 12 uh, anybody let's have a quick recap uh, anybody could remember what we have discussed okay you can use your chat window or one of you can please uh, mute yourself uh, sorry unmute yourself and uh, quickly tell me what is what was the main thing that we have discussed on 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 uh, on yesterday one of you anybody please be please be don't hesitant okay okay v model wonderful v model why we are calling it as a v model are you able to see my screen guys all of you? Verification. wonderful validation. verification validation superb 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 let me call it as verification and validation because first verification is happening then validate verification is happening and then the validation is happening right okay if you're oh, oh hang on one second so uh, let me open that paint okay mm, can i open the recent one uh, this is the sprint related yeah so here you see first the verification is happening then the validation is happening on the left side of the v it is the verification and on the right side of the v it is the validation okay here mainly the documents the process everything is being verified okay all of them and here uh, the the validation is happening right so so this is the thing so here is the verification and here is the validation okay so hang on guys one second uh, sorry about that my team had some questions so you know i was just able to do that um, yeah so all the documents that is coming out from each stage will be verified and at the same time parallelly whatever the work that needs to be done like creating the test plan test cases will be done and then once the unit testing is done then then the integration testing system testing and uat testing okay so this is such a wonderful model i hope you have understood if not watch the video multiple times and still you are not able to understand please come back to me i'll be able to explain it again but this is absolutely necessary for you to understand what is a me model and how many of you are comfortable or understood the v model guys who have attended yesterday how many uh, of you uh, actually understood the whole v model can somebody i mean one is yes two is no okay durgesh said yes rohit said yes what about the others okay isil vinupriya radhika jigdish chandana swati so looks like oh, there are only 10 to 15 everybody understood what about the others i want to hear from all the 25 members because you know i i'm teaching for all the people okay it's absolutely important that every single person okay needs to understand this v model as i've told you this is absolutely necessary for you if you go into uh, 
IT industry in general IT because you know you you are a developer you need to understand the V model you are a tester you need to understand the V model you are a business analyst you have to understand the V model you are a business system analyst you have to understand the V model you are a program project manager you need to understand this model anybody who wants to become an IT guy needs to understand not just the software testers okay is it okay guys all of you okay superb Abhishek wonderful brother okay so we are just doing a recap now that you know this is done let's get into okay let's rajendra welcome back okay so now 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 okay we will go into something called agile scrum okay agile scrum okay so if you have watched the video okay it would have been easier for you to at least you have some sort of okay uh, backing or some sort of uh, back, uh, uh, understanding okay but uh, if you haven't watched the video okay uh, still you should be able to understand the class okay so when you're talking about agile scrum okay uh, yesterday i said that there are few roles okay roles means the people who are involved or what what you call them okay and there are documents or the artifacts and then there are ceremonies or the meetings okay now roles is the product owner okay if icica is given the project to infosys the somebody from icica will be a product owner scrum master is one who runs the show okay one who runs the entire show think about it like this you know um um if you watch this movie what was that movie uh, ranbir singh's first movie what was that movie um where he will be uh what you know the marriage uh, uh he will be he will be helping people you know do the marriage what do you call him you know it was with uh, that lady what was the lady virat kohli's wife you know so um, what was the movie band bara ba uh, band baja bharat the wonderful shirin so in that guy you probably you see that guy you know the ranbir singh he will be running the entire show okay he will be managing the entire show for example he has to bring in the band people you know he's the one he is making sure the uh, decorations are happening he is he is procuring the items and he is making sure that the right people are there and making sure that everything is being you know taken care of scrum master is more like that okay whenever you think about scrum master think about ranbir kapoor in band baja bharat yes it has been actually uh, copied to telugu as well uh, siddharth was the hero for that okay along with uh, that lady I, I i don't know the hero heroine's name what was her name um, yeah so there was there was it was copied to uh, telugu version as well somebody who haven't watched that movie think about it that guy this is the guy who makes sure that everything happens in agile he doesn't do hands on okay but he will make sure that the process is followed the meetings are being taking place on time he is making sure that uh, everybody is doing the work you know the process is taken care of and all that okay if you haven't understood that okay it's still fine divya are you attending the class today divya is attending the class today divya is there in the class divya are you there okay looks like divya is not there in the class okay so let's assume vinupriya is our okay is our uh, scrum master so vinupriya i'll tell you your responsibility shortly okay now okay uh, so th these are the people and then the third person is the team i forgot to tell you the team okay team means everybody okay the developer okay uh, the testers business analyst or analyst or whoever is there okay everybody else will be called as the team okay analyst okay so so everybody will be called as a team okay all the people who are actually working okay the technical managers the project managers the developers testers okay whoever is there okay they are all called as team simply we call them as team that's it okay and there are certain documents okay product backlog user stories print backlog and burn down chart okay as i as i will be explaining what is the agile scrum process i'll be explaining i will be telling you what are these documents are how these documents will be used exactly okay all that i will be able to explain hang on guys hang on something is fishy is happening with my system okay so i'll be explaining about this four four documents or artifacts and in terms of the meetings how many meetings we have we have 
spring planning meeting which happens at the start of the sprint we have a daily scrum which happens every day and sprint review after the entire thing is done after the entire thing is done okay now 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 let's watch carefully guys okay i went through this quickly okay but now i'll talk about the how this print works okay how this scrum works i'll carefully explain this watch carefully yesterday i have explained what is print okay sprint were you able to understand all of you okay what is print okay were you able to understand what is the sprint all of you okay there is one yes what about others if somebody i want to hear from all of you i want to hear from all of you only one person has okay if you haven't understood there is a letter called there is a number called two as well you can use that number two okay so it's a couple of twos let's uh, let's look into it let's assume these are all the features that needs to be developed okay just for our understanding okay this is an online banking application okay these are all the features okay features that needs that needs to be developed okay okay so what all the features are there which needs to be developed let's look into it okay what all the features which are there to be developed okay so there is login feature logout feature account summary transaction history balance transfer ordering the checkbook raising the tickets for any concerns uh, credit card dashboards updating the phone number username passwords or whatever it is okay updating the username okay passwords okay or generate the pin okay generate the pin so these are all the features it's an ic what we are doing we are developing an icici online banking application in this uh, application all these features has to be uh, developed i know there will be lot more features but let's assume just for our discussion purposes and making things simple let's assume that okay these are all the features that needs to be developed okay now <clears throat> if it's a v model all the features all the features will go into the uh, gathering phase analysis phase then hld ld coding unit testing integration system all these features will be planned analyzed designed okay and then coded all these features will be done at once okay generally if it is a v model but here in the scrum agile model in the scrum agile model what we will do first we will divide we will we will figure out what is a sprint okay what is sprint we will figure out that okay um, uh, for 15 days let's assume two weeks okay two weeks how much work that can be done we will take it okay let's say we will be able to do only these three features okay let's assume only we will be able to do these three features in this two weeks two weeks time okay we will take these three features okay and we'll do the planning for these three features okay then we will do the coding for these three features okay 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 planning coding designing whatever you need to do okay you do the designing whatever is required for these three features coding and testing and once it is tested you do the overall review okay so for these three features you do the planning you do end to end from planning to testing to review you do everything and these three features will be completed okay in this fifth in this two weeks how much how many features have been done how many features are there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten out of these ten features how many you have taken for this particular two weeks three features what you have done you have done from planning to design to coding to testing to review by the end of this review all these three features are done and are in the working condition this two weeks that you have taken is called a sprint what is it sprint okay so you have broken down the whole project whole project into small small pieces okay that piece is called sprint which is usually one week to two one week to three weeks but here i have put it as two weeks because most of the springs that i am involved or i have heard about it is two weeks so i'll stick to two weeks but it can be from one week to three weeks but here for our discussion purposes i'm saying two weeks so in these two weeks you have picked out the amount of the work that you can do and you have done that work so this two weeks work that you have done is called sprint it's called sprint are we clear with these guys all of you are we clear with this all of you rajendra and raza are we clear especially rajendra and raja so durgesh we'll come to that don't jump the gun yet okay so i haven't even discussed about the user story yet 
okay so let's let's discuss that okay i'm sure durgesh 100% that question will be answered as i am going further okay now that you are decided now that you understood what is the spring okay let's go little deep into the spring okay okay so you have now sprint one is done okay sprint one is done how many features are developed three features do you think there will be sprint two all of you i'm just asking you one is yes two is no yes yes why because there is more work to be done you haven't done the entire work in the first sprint only three features are developed there is more seven more features are there so definitely there will be a sprint two okay so you have sprint one some work will be done by the end of sprint two sprint one then some more work will be added to this work okay let's say these two more features have been selected so these three features and these two features for sprint 2 by the end of sprint 2 this much amount of work will be done because this this much work was done by the end of sprint 1 okay sprint 1 okay now these two features were <coughs> were were added for sprint 2 okay so by the end of sprint 2 sprint 2 how many features we have how many features we have this much and this much totally five features are added by the end of sprint two by the end of sprint two so like this by the end of sprint three more work will be added or more features will be added by the end of spring four more features will be added like that like that you will require how many a number of sprints are required you will have to do that by uh, so that you complete the entire work or you complete the entire features or you complete the entire work or make sure that all the futures have been developed are we clear all of you no have you understood what is sprint one sprint two sprint three sprint four all of you yes yes sir yes. okay now now you see the the product owner okay hang on one second okay the product owner the product owner is the client right who who actually looks into everything he is the main guy okay the product owner who typically represents icici in our in our example okay so the product owner okay the product owner after the sprint one okay he will see how much work is done okay only these three features are added now he can decide whether he wants to deploy it into production or not okay the, once the product is deployed into production what happens once the once the once the code once the code is deployed into production servers okay production environment what happens guys what happens the test team will uh, test the functionality or related with that spirit that is okay once i say that the code is deployed into production environment what does this mean or what will happen see, and you see whoever have said that each sprint the testing is being done planning design coding testing and review okay testing is definitely done okay only then you can say that the sprint is done okay so you can say that the sprint is done okay now now what i am asking the question is code is deployed into production what does that mean end user will be able to access it will be wonderful it will be available for end user wonderful once i say that code is deployed into production environment the end user will be able to access it okay ready to be used by the end user let's say i am the end user or shirin is the end user why because she has an account in icica now if after the sprint one if the code is deployed into production then shirin who is who is having an account in icica will be able to log in will be able to do her or check her account summary and she will be able to log out are you understanding guys when i say the code is deployed into production are you are you understanding this okay shirin yes, who is the who has an account with icica okay her entitled to use it icica online banking will be able to log in check the account summary log out why because by the end of sprint one only this much work is done okay so now you understand when i said code is deployed into production environment are we are we are we okay with this one yes sir all of you yes okay <clears throat> shirin are you okay you have you have understood it 
okay only after the testing the code will be deployed into production or i will say it is delivered and maintenance it is delivered okay wonderful wonderful okay now now the product owner the product owner okay so if you look at the roles there is a guy called product owner okay so this product owner okay after spring to one he will decide he will decide whether whether w e a t h whether whether is this the right weather w h t -E okay i don't know the spelling guys uh, if if the spelling is wrong please ignore it whether whether code can be deployed into production or not okay so so the product owner will decide will decide okay whether whether the pro the code can be deployed into production or not okay production or not deployed okay if he thinks that there are enough features and if he thinks that the end user will have some benefit of using this application he will take take a call whether it should be deployed or not let's assume he decided not to deploy it then what happens sprint two happens additional features are added then again he will take a decision again he will have to rethink whether he wants to deploy it or not okay let's assume again he is not happy he thinks that okay there is not enough features then again after sprint three after sprint three sprint three again he will take a call whether he wants to deploy or not this time around he thinks that okay there are enough features let me deploy into production deploy into production which means that which means that which means that now shirin who is the icica uh, end user because she has an account now she can get access to this application now shirin can do what she can do a login she can do a logout she can check her account summary she can she can check her transaction history she can even do the balance transfers she can order a checkbook she can raise a ticket for concern if she wants to whether she, whether whether shirin wants to use all these services or not is a different story but all the services is at her disposal if she wants to use it she can start using it because the product owner has decided to deploy into production and now all these features are available to the end customers are we clear with this all of you this is very very important for you to understand whatever i have said so far one is yes two is no I am. I will keep asking this because this is very very yeah. important. Understanding the agile process. Okay. <clears throat> Anybody haven't understood? This is not rocket science, guys. It's very very simple. What I am saying is all the things you know which needs to be done at once. They are doing it in installments. You have taken one lakh from somebody. First you pay ten thousand, then ten thousand, then ten thousand, then ten thousand. That is like that. Okay. All the features instead of developing at once and uh, deploying at once, they are they are develop they are they are deploy developing and deploying in installments. Okay. Feature wise, that's it. Okay. Now, Kumar sir, Kumar sir, what happened with these three features? All these three features needs to be there as well. Yes, there will be sprint four. Okay. So let's say this much work has been done by the end of sprint four. Okay. Then what happens? Okay. Okay. Then what happens? Okay. New code will be deployed. Okay. New build or code. Okay. Build or code. I've already told you what is a build on day two or day three. Okay. If you have watched the videos, you understand what is a build. So new code or new build will be. deployed into production or deployed okay into production environment okay now this new code which has been deployed into production has all the old features and also have this additional features now are you understanding now now sprint 4 has happened new code has been added this new code will have this two additional features okay so that new build or new code is deployed into production now up other than this like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 features okay in addition to this seven features this two features will be available in this new code or build which has been deployed into production now shirin now shirin earlier she could access only this seven features now she will be able to access this two more features so she, total she will be able to add this seven nine services or features okay similarly after sprint sprint to five she will be able to access this additional features as well the the more features which has been there okay so like this by the end of at least by the end of one of, 
at the end of some sprint all the features that you want will be added all the features that you want will be added okay are we clear with all of them how this agile scrum works this is absolutely important for you to understand guys any questions or instead of saying are you uh, 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 you know uh, are you understood uh, let me ask this question everybody understood uh, uh, sorry any questions any questions okay if you have questions anything oh, specific I, to i have one question yeah please so it please first may i uh, please yeah uh, yeah please tell me your name first and then ask the question so that i can address uh, durgesh 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 wonderful durgesh, durgesh. tell me so sir, if uh, if sprint one in the sprint one the particular a uh, small part of uh, will a uh, deploy of that particular application user uh, we use on the that particular small part functions am i correct okay. so at yes. that time But, user will not uh, yeah user will yes, not uh, like uh, create an and create issue like i am not using all these parts so we in the real world we are deploying scenario like this small, small part uh, in the production environment only the login without account summary we cannot deploy so in the real world what happen happens is That's it what I or told we you deploy so the product complete... owner product owner has to decide that okay so if product owner thinks that okay these many features are good enough to get started then definitely he will deploy it if the things are as low as this nobody will deploy it into production because there is no point making that application available to end user when the when the services that you provide is very very basic or not not adding any value to their life okay then the product owner is the guy who needs to decide it and once he thinks that okay these have now there is enough stuff now it is it can be deployed that's when it can be deployed that's what i am telling you durgesh it's not you or me who will decide more than us the product owner has lot of knowledge these guys have paid lot of i mean he is the one who came out with this idea of creating the application okay he is the one who 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 is the best judge of when this code has to be deployed into production if he thinks that okay this is not good enough he will not deploy into production we go to sprint 2 additional features are added then even if he thinks that it is not good enough then he goes to sprint 3 and this is when he thinks that oh this is good enough then he will go ahead and deploy okay so we will leave it to the product owner to decide okay when is the good time to deploy into production okay so definitely he will yes, have sir. more knowledge than you and me to decide whether you know whether for that application it is good enough or not okay are you uh, are you okay durgesh yes sir. i mean got it thank uh, you uh, yeah i mean does it make sense whatever i'm saying when i said are you okay i mean does it i mean logically does it make sense sure whatever i said yeah so yeah got sir just for our discussion purposes i have spent only sprint 3 or 4 but typically what i see is after sprint 7 or 10 or something like that then you will have a potentially shippable product and that's when the code will be deployed but but just for my discussion purposes to make the things easy i have divided it to only 3 to 4 sprints but no project can be done in 3 to 4 sprints lot of sprints will happen durgesh okay so uh, it will take as i've told you na 7 or 10 something like that then you will have a potentially shippable project that product and that's when you will deploy it okay any more questions guys <clears throat> by by the way durgesh it's a wonderful doubt i think now uh, the concept would have been much more clear to other people as well because you have asked that question okay so yes sir wonderful wonderful okay now that you understood the sprints let me tell you how the agile process goes now you understood what are the sprints now you understood that there are multiple sprints okay now you understood that there is a guy called product owner okay now now let's go ahead and understand the process okay so let's go ahead and understand the process okay it's raining heavily here in hyderabad guys there could be a power cut but i have a backup there in case if there is a temporarily uh, you know it's get disconnected immediately connect back okay because i have a backup and immediately i will connect okay wonderful guys so now now let's look at the overall process how the agile process works okay now first first what happens is the product owner the product owner okay product owner okay he will come come out with all the features like for this icici bank 
I want all these features to be developed. Login, logout, account summary, transaction history, balance transfer, checkbook, raising the ticket, history, credit card, update the phone number, generate the PIN. All these ideas are the features that he wants to add it to his banking application. He will he will put all those ideas features into one single document. That document is called product backlog. What do you call that as product? Okay, backlog. Okay, so for this project called ICSA, what all the features, what all the uh, functionalities, or what all the ideas that I wanted to implement for this project, for this application, he will put all of them together at one place. Okay, it is called the product backlog. Okay, what is called product backlog? Okay, so how many of you have done the BTEX from here? BTEX or BEDs? Not BTEX, BTEX or B, uh, what is that? B, not B, yeah, BEs and BTEX and whoever have done the engineering. How many of you have done it? Okay. You understand by this word backlog, right? Everybody? What is a backlog? Can somebody tell me? We are not clear any subject then it called the backlog i think yeah so you have written the exam and you have failed and then that will be a backlog which means that you are supposed to complete but it is not done so it is put into your backlog which means that it needs to be done you are not ahead of the game you are behind the game it needs to be done in the third year but you haven't done it you went into fourth year but still that subject from the third year is needs to be cleared that's what is a backlog. Okay, so the Sorry. agile process always starts in a way that you are always behind the scenes. Okay, so backlog means what? You are behind everybody. Okay, that's what it means. I mean, does it make sense, guys? All of you. I mean, whoever have not done the BTEX or BEs, uh, they should also know this, na? Uh, that what is a backlog? Everybody. You guys know it, no? What is a backlog? Which means that it needs to be done. The subject is not cleared. Suppose there's there is a degree of three years. Okay, so the, there is a three years degree. Okay, first year. Okay, second year, and third year. Okay, so one subject out of five, six subjects, five subjects you are able to clear, pass. Okay, and then one subject. Okay, you are not able to pass. You have failed. Okay, so you go to second year. This is a backlog for you, which means that okay, five on par you were, but uh, when you go to the second year, you were supposed to clear all the six subjects, but one subject is is supposed to be cleared. So for the second year, this one subject is a backlog. Why? Because you are supposed to complete it, but you haven't completed it. You are behind everybody else. Does it make sense? What is a backlog, guys? Who haven't done the BTEX or uh, engineering's? Are you clear? Even in degrees, you call this as a backlog, guys. I'm just asking you. The subject which is not cl cleared, you go to the second year. Is that called as a backlog? Even you're doing some sort of degree, like you know, uh, 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 like you know, B B B C A or something like that. Even over there, you call it as a backlog. I'm just asking somebody who have done the degrees, not not engineering's. Is that called the backlogs? Okay, then I need not have to explain what is a backlog. So. They put this into the product backlog. Kumar sir, the project is not started. Why we are behind the scene? Okay, areas or backlogs. I I know Rohit. Okay, yeah. So <clears throat> wonderful, Rohit. Yeah, I, I had <laughs> you know luckily or unluckily, I, I I almost had a backlog, but you know you know I just I was I was lucky enough. You know it was a border mark. I was supposed to get. Uh, 40 you know below 40 was a fail or something like that in btec i got 41 or 42 so luckily i didn't have a backlog anyways <clears throat> now kumar sir we are just started the project how come we say that you know we are behind the scenes that is the beauty of agile they make you feel that you are behind the scenes so that you are always in rush you want to get that done get the whole things done quickly why people go with agile scrum they want to get the things done quickly they want to make the application available to the end user quickly okay so that's why you know uh, that's why the, the naming also they are putting it that way so that psychologically you think that you are behind the scenes you are behind the game and you want it to be you want it to work hard and catch up okay so anyways so 
all the bright ideas all the wonderful ideas the product owner will put that into the backlog will put that into the backlog and when they put that into the backlog they might not put it like this login feature okay log out feature they will not put it like this they will create a user story for that okay they will create what user stories for that okay so the let's say they wanted to add all these features what is that login feature log out account summary transaction history balance transfer checkbook raising the history credit card update generate the pins all these features needs to be added simply they will not add these features like that hang on okay these are all the features that needs to be added right okay simply they will not okay and then i need to delete this okay okay so they wanted to add all these features into the product backlog because all this needs to be developed coded tested okay wonderful okay so the application needs to add all these features so they will not add these features just like this they will add these features in the form of user stories what is how they are called as user stories like that they all these features will be added to this backlog product backlog oh, kumar sir please tell me please tell me how a user story how a user story looks like okay for this login let's add a user story okay as a end user who is the end user our shirin khan is the end user as a end user okay as a end user so whatever you need to add you will add and then okay i need blah 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 okay so that okay like this they will add as a end user okay uh, login functionality okay i'm just giving you it might not be a real user story but just like that you functionality uh, login functionality uh, should be made available available okay should be made available okay as a end user the login functionality should be made available yeah. so that i can log into the system okay i need valid user credentials okay credentials okay so like this some user stories will be created okay and then added so that people can easily understand okay in in technically you are telling all this people might get overwhelmed in the form of stories you are telling it people can easily understand what you are saying okay it it is a requirement document only asel it is a requirement document only but here in the scrum you don't call that as a brd document you don't call it as an sre srs document sorry brd document or srs document you call them as product backlog and you you don't technically write this you know saying that build the login functional or this has to be there they 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 put all that in the form of a stories so that people can easily understand anybody can easily understand that oh this feature is for people to log in so that they can do blah 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 and for doing this i need blah 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 okay so like that in the form of a stories they will be adding all these features into the product backlog in the product backlog okay product backlog are we clear all of you so far the first step or instead of saying are you clear all of you i'll ask you this question okay anybody has any questions here the first step what we have done okay the product owner first product yeah. owner figured out all the features that needs to be developed for this project and put that in the product backlog or put put together in a particular document which you are calling it as product backlog and it will be in the form of a stories so that the people all the people can understand it okay uh, and we call them as user stories okay instead of technically high five funda uh, you are writing it you are simply writing it in the form of a stories so that people can easily understand whoever is reading it okay so that the uh, uh, so that the meetings you know for understanding it becomes easy and there will be less meetings you know uh, just for understanding sake you know you can, you need not have to have multiple meetings so in the form of a stories they will write all this so that people can easily understand okay i want to hear from all the 29 people guys are you okay with the first step are you okay with the first step all of you wonderful yes. okay now the product backlog is ready now the product backlog is ready okay 
okay now at least we know what needs to be done in this particular project okay project now what happens now what happens the second step the second step is sprint planning if you go back to the ceremonies or meetings i have written here okay so there is a meeting called sprint planning you see there is a meeting called sprint planning okay what what happens at the start of the sprint you have the sprint planning at the start of the sprint you have the sprint planning okay so you have a sprint planning meeting here okay sprint planning s p r i n t sprint planning okay sprint planning wonderful wonderful okay now what happens uh, what happens in the sprint planning okay first tell me who all are the people involved or who are all the roles involved or people involved in this agile scrum can somebody tell me who are all the people involved who are all the people involved project manager product owner product owner okay product owner scrum master scrum master, scrum master and team team, team. team. team means yeah team means everybody developers, developers, developers tester, testers analyst everybody project managers product whoever else is there they are all called as team okay there is product owner there is scrum master remaining everything else we call them as team all these people will be part of this meeting sprint planning what is this what is this it is a meeting when are you doing the meeting at the starting of the sprint you see the sprint is about to get started at the starting of the sprint we do this meeting what is the purpose of this meeting all these people sit together they will analyze the product backlog they will know that oh there are how many features are there there are how many features are there there are 10 features how many features are there 10 features what will we pick for this particular sprint all this it is not one person who will pick it all the people will sit together it is more like your democracy all the people sit together and all these people together will decide that oh we will take these many user stories how many user stories are there one two three four like this so many user stories are there maybe for login there could be more than one user story guys maybe for balance transfer is there yeah you can have 10 user stories transfer from one account to another account transfer within the bank transfer outside the bank transfer to the same i mean there could be n number of user stories for one feature okay so they will pick up that okay for this print for this particular sprint i will pick up five user stories or i will pick up 10 user stories or i will pick up these 20 user stories they will pick up the work that they can do for this particular sprint and the outcome of this particular sprint planning meeting is the sprint backlog what is it sprint backlog okay listen to it carefully guys sprint backlog okay what will be there in the sprint backlog let's say there are 100 user stories here 100 user stories here okay so out of this 100 user stories okay now sprint planning meeting all the people will decide and they say that we will do these 20 important uh, user stories okay i'll say us us means what user stories because the place is less so i'm calling it as users but in the real world they are not calling it as us okay but here the place is less so okay anyways i'll i'll write it down user stories stories okay so in the sprint backlog okay i cannot write it here i'll write it down here okay they have picked up 20 user stories okay stories wonderful okay so they have picked up 20 user stories is it one person who have decided this 20 or is the entire team who have decided this is it one person who has decided it option one number two option two is entire team put together has decided that okay these are the significant important prioritized user stories let's work on these 20 user stories who what is the right option one or two i want to hear from all of you <clears throat> who have decided the work for this sprint one person the product owner has decided it option two is all the people has decided it option one or two i want to hear from all of you yeah you see in the sprint planning meeting who are all there all the people are there what is the purpose of the sprint planning meeting to prioritize and decide what user stories or what work to be uh, decided or worked upon for this particular uh, sprint okay and what all has been decided it goes into the sprint backlog sprint backlog okay and all these user stories will be will be decided okay now <clears throat> now the actual sprint will start guys now the actual sprint will start okay now the actual sprint will start okay
now the sprint has started because the sprint planning meeting is done we have decided what work needs to be done and then the sprint has started uh, let's assume it can be from how many weeks to how many weeks a sprint can be for how many weeks to how many weeks three to can one week one to Sorry? three weeks one to three weeks one to two. one to three weeks everybody one to three weeks but let's assume this project which is an icsa bank is for two weeks why i have been insisting two weeks is whatever the projects i was involved in it typically the sprint was for two weeks wonderful okay but that necessarily doesn't mean that okay it will be three weeks uh th two weeks for everybody okay now now again i'll tell you clearly observe guys i, I was involved into one agile uh, project now what happens is in one single room let's see what happens visually start visualizing whatever i'm telling guys okay start visualizing so there was one room given to us a big room okay and not necessarily this is how it will be for all of them but i'm talking about my project there was a big big table from here to here okay and we have people sitting all here okay we have people sitting this side okay okay and we have people sitting this side okay and we have one person sitting here okay and somebody wants a different table yeah they were given as well they are not comfortable sitting on this table yeah they were given other tables okay but i'm talking about my project guys it doesn't necessarily mean that every single project is like that okay so who is this person guys who is this person any guesses product owner product owner is is a client okay he will decide uh, uh, product backlog and he is part of the sprint meeting and the the, the user stories has decided and he is no longer involved in the actual sprint scrum master okay ah he is no longer involved in the actual scrum those 15 days he is not sitting anywhere he is not involved in the work he is not doing any work at all this is the scrum master who is sitting here again i am talking about my project again don't think that you know every project will be like that okay he this guy is the scrum master you know this guy is the scrum master because he is the one who is driving the whole things okay sir in every project the scrum master will be the guy sitting i don't know you know i am talking about my project and this is the team this is the entire team okay the team consists of developers developer leads developer managers testers testers managers okay uh, business analyst uh, smes okay everybody heard about this word called sme guys sme any idea what is an sme <clears throat> sme okay developer subject, subject matter, matter expertise. expertise okay subject <laughs> small and medium enterprise <laughs> yes that could be but here here rajendra this is a subject matter expertise subject matter okay expertise okay expertise okay sir kumar sir what is this subject matter expertise okay don't worry about it we are developing what icsa banking application somebody who understands everything knows about icsa or any generally banking applications not necessarily icsa banking application somebody who understands the banking application in and out that guy in our project will be an sme okay will be an sme who knows he might not be a developer he might not be a tester but he knows everything about a banking applications he knows what needs to be there okay if there are not necessarily every project will have smes but if there are smes yes those guys are also sitting on the same table and they will be part of the team as well team is as i've told you the team okay the third the third thing you know when i talk about the roles okay when i talk about the roles the third person is what the team there is a product owner there is scrum master and there is team okay so these are all the team who is sitting okay let's say day one of the first spring day one of the first spring what happens there is a board here for us we had a board a big board was there over here and all these 20 user stories were stick on the left hand side okay and again how this user stories will be uh, will be written i'll tell you exactly why i watched ask you to watch is like this okay all the user stories will be written on this sticky notepads again i'm talking about my project okay so this what we call it as a sticky notepad right anybody has seen or used this sticky notes or at least you would have seen it now the sticky notes in the movies 
they will be writing something and put to the desk na so each user story will go over this sticky notepad and what happens on that white board that i have talking about on the white board which has been put here here is your sum master behind it there is a white board imagine all these guys okay if you imagine you will never forget okay that white board let's assume this is my white board okay and then there is a line that is written here left side left side we have all this okay sticky notes each sticky note is one user story each sticky notes is one user story each sticky notes is one user story okay sir kumar sir why it is been put on the left hand side can can you somebody guess where is this white board behind this behind this guy called scrum master okay and why they have put all this sticky note and what what each sticky notes contain a user story just like what you have given here in the picture okay and why the sticky notes so that you can stick on to this white board which is there and what is there on each sticky notes user stories why this is put on the left hand side can somebody give it a wild guess and tell me why they have put it on the left hand side any wild guesses please unmute yourself yeah that's some anything why 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 they have put it on the left hand side sir easy to start sir you know somewhere they have to put they have drawn the line somewhere i have to put right or left okay again i am telling sir, you because, the work sir, because yeah. of this is not a done for right hand and done in ah, perfect perfect who is this again abhishek srivastava abhishek srivastava the work that is not been done was there on the left hand side once a particular user story is completed okay then this goes into the right hand side this could be a user story this could be a task as well guys one user story can have multiple tasks for example login is there login is there okay or login is there okay this user story for login is there there could be two sticky notes for it okay developing the login feature one on one sticky notes you have developing login feature okay login feature okay on the other other on the other sticky notes on the other sticky notes this is one more sticky notes on this testing the login feature testing the login feature login feature okay there could be another sticky notes as well okay each sticky notes may not or may belong to a user story there could be another sticky notes saying that yes the defect 1 or defect 2 or defect 3 whatever is there that could be a sticky notes as well so all the sticky notes the work which is not done is on the left hand side and the work that is done is on the right hand side this might represent a user story or this might represent a task as well okay a task so all the ones which are there on the left hand side or the ones the work is not done all the ones which is there on the right hand side is the work that has been done every day new tasks will be added on the left hand side and by the end of the day these tasks we expect that you know this task will be moved to the right hand side if not all of them at least most of them the ones which are not moved which means that they are still pending and the next day the that uh, and the next day the task needs to be done are we absolutely clear with this guys are we absolutely clear each one is a task which needs to be done if it is left hand side it needs to be done if it is right hand side yes it is done the one which is been done they move from left hand side to right hand side left hand side to right hand side okay and every day new new sticky notes will be added because new tasks keeps coming in there are new defects each defect they will put it into a sticky notes and then they will paste it on the left hand side and by the end of the day if the defect has been fixed or defect has been submitted or whatever fixed it goes to the right hand side okay like this they will be monitoring who is the guy who has to make sure that all this is being done the scrum master will he physically do it yes he might physically do it or he will request one of the team members to actually write these tasks into the sticky notes and then maybe then at the end of the day ask the people if this is been done and move to the right hand side right hand side okay are you clear with all of them uh, what is being happening guys are you clear with this what is happening here in the scrum so far okay then kumar sir okay uh, what happens yes as soon as the day starts there is something called stand up meeting what will happen guys what will happen daily scrum or stand up meetings okay 
what is the first step of the sprint okay if the sprint is for two weeks what is the first step of the sprint okay so there is stand up meeting or daily daily scrum okay daily scrum uh, it's called a stand up meeting because all the people actually stand up okay including the scrum master and he each person has to tell what they have done on a particular day or what they are planning to do on that day and what they have done on the previous day so the scrum master or whoever is responsible will 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 add the sticky notes okay or move the sticky notes from left hand side to right hand side if they say that that particular thing has been done okay so let's say there is a there, there is a task and the task is belonging to shirin khan okay so shirin khan will stand up and say that this task is mine okay what is this this task is mine and she said she has done it the the scrum master will move from, move that left hand side to right hand side and shirin khan says that today my plan is blah 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 then then uh, the scrum master will either note down all those tasks or will ask somebody to note down all those tasks okay all the tasks which has been noted down will be there will be a there will be a user stories or sorry sticky notes which will be created by somebody in the team and will be added to the left hand side similarly each person has to stand up will will tell what has been done so that those tasks or those uh, 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 notes will be tasks will be moved to the right hand side and what they are planning to do on that particular day what they are planning to do on that particular day somebody will note it down uh, and then the, all those will become all those will be become tasks and will be added to the left hand side after the scrum call or the daily scrum has happened okay are we clear guys what is happening in the daily scrum meeting are you clear what is happening in the daily scrum meeting everybody okay so everybody stand up will tell what is been done those those tasks will be moved to the left hand side and what needs to be done those tasks will be added to the uh, left hand side and the ones which are done will move to the right hand side like this it will go over the complete table so that every single person has shared his update okay and then one person let's say here who is a testing guy say that uh, who let's say the scrum master is abhishek so uh, this is this is this is our uh, vinu priya vinu priya is from the testing team she will stand up and say that my work is there's lot of work i am not able to do that all that work today i need some help then the scrum master will say oh anybody is free then 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 our swati will stand up saying that oh i am free on this day so she uh, then the scrum master will tell swati please help vinu priya in whatever whatever she can do i know you are a developer but vinu priya is the tester she will guide you what needs to be done please help her with the task so like this the, the tasks can be shared with somebody who doesn't have the work this way this way that work happens quickly and that's what happens on the daily scrum okay now now i have a question guys daily scrum the sprint is for two weeks which is 14 days the scrum happens each and every day daily scrum happens every day or maybe once in a while it happens every day option 1 no sir it happens at after 15 days option 2 one or two i want to hear from all of you yes it happens every single day every single day yes new tasks is being added every single day the done tasks will be moved to the right hand side like this by the end of two weeks all the work needs to be done all the work needs to be done and by the way they maintain a something called a burn down chart as well other than this one left hand side right hand side they will be also maintaining something called a burn down chart okay in this burn down chart every day let's say you are starting with 20 user stories after this is day 1 day 2 there should be 18 user stories day 3 there should be 16 like this every day the number of user stories has to be decreased and that is being tracked in the form of a burn down chart that is being tracked in the form of a burn down chart okay this is what is the burn down chart by the end of two weeks you expect that all the work needs to be done and all the user stories has to be completed so they 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 track the the, the work in the form of a burn down chart and they start with 20 user stories and by the end of two weeks all the work needs to be done and there should be no work by the end of end of two weeks so that's what is the burn down chart that they will be maintaining that they will be maintaining okay now now after 15 days is done okay after the entire 15 day, daily there are daily scrums right there are daily scrums okay there are daily scrums so after the 15 days is done let's say the daily scrums are happening every day okay day 1 day 2 day 3 like this 
every day scrums is happening let's say like this 15 15 15 scrums are happened now uh, sorry yeah whatever like how many working days are there those many scrums have daily scrums are happened now after everything is done after that two weeks then 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 whatever the work that has been uh, that is been uh, uh, assumed or uh, uh, the, uh, agreed upon or thought that they will complete they will complete it now by the end of the sprint this is your end of the sprint right this is where the sprint has ended this is where your sprint has ended all the two weeks has been done now you will have what you will have what you will have what sprint review meeting what is that sprint review meeting sprint. what is that sprint review meeting okay review meeting okay you are reviewing what has been done for the sprint whom do you think you will review this thing is now as now now you have a sprint review meeting who are you reviewing with okay when i said you you are the team right you are the team who are you reviewing with are you reviewing with the the scrum master or are you reviewing with the product owner <coughs> scrum master one product owner two who are you reviewing the work with <coughs> scrum master uh, sorry scrum master is one product scrum master. owner two. scrum master okay scrum master is one product owner is two sir 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 scrum master is there every day he is looking at daily scrum he is the one who is driving the entire thing he knows everything then why i need to review with him again after the end of the sprint he is involved he is the one who is actually driving he is the one who is pushing it if the work is not being done he is the one who is pushing it he is the one who is making sure that the process is taken care of he is the one who is creating this sticky notes he is the one who is building this burn down chart what is the purpose of reviewing with him now i am asking the question again are you reviewing with the uh, the scrum master option 1 product owner uh, option 2 product owner is the one who is not involved at all product owner is the one who doesn't know what has happened in this 15 days product owner is the one for whom we are actually working so we are actually reviewing with with whom the product owner okay who are there in the meeting again okay everybody okay uh, everybody product owner is there uh, scrum master is there and the entire team is there the scrum master along with the entire team will explain to the product owner what has been done how the features have come out he will showcase the work to him get his approval make sure he is happy and they say that yes the work is been done okay the product owner is happy everybody is happy now you go into what now you go into what sprint to now you will go into sprint to again what happens in the sprint to again what happens in the sprint to the sprint planning will be there again you look at the sprint backlog again you have a sprint of two weeks where there are daily scrums again there will be a sprint review meeting after after the second sprint so the second iteration of sprint has happened then there is a third sprint which is the third iteration of spring then there is a fourth spring like this there will be there will be continuously sprint after sprint here the product owner will decide if this code needs to be deployed into production or not if he thinks that he is not enough is there then he will say go ahead with sprint two here there is a retrospective meeting is also there okay what is there retrospecting retrospective okay so what is retrospecting analyzing yourself what has happened in this 15 days okay there is retrospective as well is a part of the spring review meeting they will see what has happened in this 15 days where they can improve what has went wrong and discuss with the product owner as well okay here is where we can improve the process here is where we, we think we can do better then they can imp, imp, they can then they can incorporate those learnings in the sprint second sprint like this like this like this multiple sprints have happened until the whole project is done this is what we call it as a daily scrum everybody is clear guys absolutely everybody is clear very very difficult to teach this sprint i'm telling you trust me i tried my level best i'm not sure how many people have actually understood this if not watch this video again and again i'm sure you will understand it okay now you're calling your project as an agile scrum be careful guys okay there are udemy courses which are there there could be like a 20 hours course only on agile scrum 
okay only on agile scrum i have taught you for how many hours one hour or one and a half hour but there is a 20 hours course 25 hours course on agile scrum immediately purchase those courses and understand that process end to end if required you can take the certification as well it is not difficult okay take that certification okay not that you want to become a scrum master there are multiple certifications before you become a scrum master but there will be some initial uh, certifications are there which tells the people that once you have taken and it's not at all difficult tell, trust me guys take that certification it goes to your resume say that you are certified scrum master which means that you you know how the whole scrum works and people will show some interest once they look at that resume and you say that you are certified scrum master people say that oh you are a tester but you have taken the certification now you know the uh, complete scrum okay uh, then they will prefer you okay then you can say that your last project in scrum they will ask you a lot of questions on scrum you can answer but if you if this this knowledge is good enough for the tester but again i am telling you if you are seriously looking into the it career okay go ahead purchase uh, purchase the courses on udemy they will be hardly 400 rupees 300 rupees 500 rupees okay go through each and every step you know understand it those 20 hours you can complete over the weekend if required take the certification as well and be a certified scrum master this is what i can tell you and you can say that your last project is in scrum and they will ask you all these burn down charts you know product backlogs user stories okay everything then you can explain this is what it is happened they will ask you what happened in stand up meetings okay they might ask you some questions you can visualize i tell I, to, I told you what was happening in my project you can visualize and you can talk about it and after the udemy course you might get more points from what i've told you can get a better understanding as what will happen on each and every step okay and how the burn down, burn down chart will be you will be able to explain to the interviewer with examples if they say what is a burn down chart okay this is what it is for today guys any questions before i leave today i know i have consumed uh, 11 minutes more than what it is okay any questions and is the pace okay guys all of you okay <coughs> is the pace okay 20 shandana says 20 i don't know there's 20 user stories but i don't know i have only one or two my life is uh, i'm typing two but it's okay. interesting okay 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 so is the pace okay everybody pace okay with the pace with which i'm going is there any uh, anything which is overwhelming okay somebody was typing thank you sir it was very helpful to understand this okay wonderful brother thank you my pleasure my pleasure okay again i'm telling you with this same energy buy some course on udemy i have any courses no i don't have any courses do i recommend any courses i have i never looked at any courses on udemy but i know it is cheaper and you can return them in 30 days so purchase it watch it uh, clear the exam and return it you will get your money back as well okay so that's what i would say okay and uh, immediately take the certification or go in depth into this scrum so that you can put all these points into the resume and confidently talk about it in the interviews and uh, if you have taken the certification you have a very very good chance okay people with certifications those resumes will be picked first and uh, they they will be given more value and getting the scrum certification the basic one it's not too tough okay and i gave you the ballpark idea of how main points main terminologies so right away you can take the course and understand most of it or all of it okay okay so now uh mahender i uh, roughly explain roughly once again tomorrow i i don't have the energy i've been shouting from top of my voice from one hour 10 minutes now i don't have the energy mahender um uh, but roughly i'll tell you quickly okay you have whatever the project whatever the user stories whatever the features that you want for that project the product owner will pick up all those features and he will put them into the product backlog as the user stories in our project let's say there are 100 user stories now there is a sprint planning meeting where all the people the product owner scrum master team will involve in the sprint meeting they will pick up whatever the work that needs to be done for that particular sprint let's say they have picked up 20 user stories those 20 user stories will be picked up and those goes into the sprint backlog now this work needs to be done for this sprint so the sprint has actually started so in this sprint let's assume it is two weeks in this two weeks this 20 user stories needs to be completed every day there will be a daily scrum where where 
where the scrum master and the entire team are involved they each team will stand up they will tell what work they have done for the day and what work they have to do for that particular day they will tell accordingly the scrum master will move the will move the task from right to left or add the additional tasks over here okay each one will do the same thing and they do that for the next two weeks by the end of two weeks all the 20 user stories are expected to be completed and then then you have a sprint review meeting you have this review meeting with the product owner you explain what has been done and then uh, see his satisfaction and you will also retrospect to see uh, what what has gone wrong and what can be done okay uh, next time around so that the things happen smoothly okay so this is what is the scrum mahinder i've tried to explain i i know i went very fast okay uh, because i'm tired okay watch the video okay you will get the total understanding okay in spite of that you have questions mahinder i'll try to repeat it on monday okay thank you very much guys on monday we will catch up and we will start with the actual testing from monday our testing starts guys okay so we'll talk about different kinds of testing on monday then we go to the test plan and then we go to the uh, stlc and start writing the actual test cases okay we'll try to uh, close this in two weeks thank you guys bye bye